Grizzlies Live here on Rocket League. And we cannot get enough of this game. A high-paced, action-packed, arcade-like style. And the best thing of all is physics based. They're in the voice that game started along with a seasoned commentator making his return. Welcome, Xbox Freak Pete and Xbox. It's like old times because you're now an official permanent commentator here, a part of TGW. Welcome aboard. Yeah, it's uh, been a while because, like, my gold expired and uh, it just feels good to be back, you know, again. Well, there you see King Crafter, of course, scoring, well, ladies and gentlemen. The yellow team with one point, the red team with one point, and it seems that both teams are going to do all they can to try to pick up the victory. Take a look at the replay. King Crafter scoring right down in the air. Well, Xbox, you missed a lot. First off, let's take you all back to what happened a couple of weeks ago to when the Rebel Weekly fired Minigun Killer 10. I was put as third in command by Rebel Tea Time and Scorch. Now, we have the power since we beat you guys, and we all have decided to use that power today. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have something big, something that needed to be done long ago. By orders from Scorch and Rebel Tea Time, we are firing Minigun Killer 10. And there you see a rock fancy boy scoring for the red team again. Now it's two on one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, despite the fact that the Rebel Weekly fired Minigun, Minigun didn't back down. In fact, on the one year anniversary special, Minigun hijacked this show to get his job back. Yes, Adrian. Well, guys, I'm back. And guess what? I am not leaving here until I get my job back. I am not leaving here until I am rehired. And guess what? I'm here with my friends. Guys, come on in. <laughs> so Rebel Weekly, we are not leaving until I get my job back. That is final. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Minigun. I'm Rebel NT, and I need you to calm down. You just can't take over the show like this. Here, you know what? You get what you want. You are back as manager. There. Happy? Yes, I, I am. I like the Rebel Weekly just as much as Minigun don't. But I'm just saying, I don't, I don't like either of them. Xbox, repeat the fact that you're actually perhaps rooting for the Rebel Weekly. I know you don't like the Rebel Weekly, but you apparently are not a fan of Minigun Killer 10. As you see yet again, Rock Fancy scoring, and it's now a five-on-one situation. It seems that the red team is dominating here tonight. Well, nonetheless, as mentioned, the team one-on-one -on -one against the opposing team in this matchup. There you see the replay. Feel it at home, folks. And right into the game, these players are exemplifying the style here. A lot of momentum beginning to switch through the teams. A very flexible game is Rocket League. I mean, take a look at the physics here. You can take a look. Look at the style. The fast-paced action here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, again, we're still talking about the Rebel Weekly firing Minigun Killer 10. And another score right there. Ghost fan out scoring. Folks, we may very well be seeing an easy cakewalk Right there to there, Ghost Fan, I cannot believe what I'm actually witnessing right now. The red team is absolutely dominating against the yellow team. Now, you don't want to take away from the yellow team, though. They're actually doing all they can and try to pick up the victory. But again, momentum shifts throughout this matchup. Now, the question is, though, what in the world? Xbox, let me ask you this. If you were in the yellow team, what would you do to try to combat the offensive style, the unorthodox style of the red team? Um, I'll just work together, you know, just like stay as a team. But look, I don't want to make insight. something clear here. That was great, great insight, insight, by the way. That I, was great insight, by the way. I like Minigun more than the Rebel Weekly. I'm just saying that right. I don't like either of them. Right. Well, again, you have well, a different Rebel perception. Weekly, again, you have you a know. different perception. Well, I mean, Xbox, Where, come on uh, now. I just don't like the way he just rolls around here, you know? Well, nonetheless, though, there you see Rock I mean, Fancy. Same as to... Go right, right ahead, interrupt me. Go right ahead, interrupt me. What? I'm in the middle of saying something, then you just the tenth of the game. I mean, I'm in the I'm middle of calling him a match. Like, I'm in the middle of calling him a match. I'm, I'm just saying that I don't, I, I don't like either of them, you know. I just don't. Well, I'll tell you what, though. Well, well ladies and I'll gentlemen, what, I cannot though. wait for ladies this one, though, because I later on in the program, we're actually going to be talking to a special guest. We'll get to that in just a little bit. But before we get to that, though, a minute and 15 seconds, folks. 7 to 1, and it seems another score right now by Rock Fancy Boy scoring right then to there, ladies and gentlemen. It seems that the yellow team is beginning to build all the momentum they need. Now, frustration begins to build as well because with just one minute and 14 seconds left. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're back here in Rocket League, and it seems that out of nowhere, the yellow team somehow, someway, they're picking up the momentum they need. There you see one minute remaining, and Rock Fancy Boy, of course, using the duking and dodging at this point in time, and Ghost fans missing through the ball right now. The ball is missing. Mid air, and you can only imagine these players have those 
Well, he, they have the offensive styles glued right into the midsection of this map. Consider the fact that the ball is flying all over the place right now, which is 39 seconds and counting. Now, eight points for the red team. You can only imagine for the red team, they have all the confidence in the world. For the yellow team, a lot of pressure is beginning to build. What do they have to do to combat the offensive style of the red team? I mean, this is an easy cakewalk, but at the last second there, you see now Ghost Fan 0-2 scoring for the red team yet again. And it seems that Ghost Fan, they're having a really easy cakewalk into this matchup. The red team completely dominating. But moments ago, Xbox, you talked about how, well, apparently you just don't like the way Minigun is managing things, but you still don't like the Rebel Weekly. I'm still shocked over the fact that you actually are agreeing with the Rebel Weekly, the fact that they actually fired Minigun Killer 10, despite the fact that you don't like their tactics. I mean, that's probably the only thing that I agree with them on. Uh, look, at this point in time, I don't, I don't really like anybody right now. I just, I just really, don't. you don't even like the game really? weekly. You yeah. don't even like the gaming weekly. I mean, like. Hold on, let me interrupt you for a quick Hold second, on, Xbox. We're going to get to that just a little bit. There you saw the winner of this matchup. Congratulations to the red team. It was Ghost Fan. It was a two-on-one situation, but you do not want to take away anything from the yellow team. They did a great job well, combating the red, the red team. team. Absolutely dominating against the yellow team. 9-2, but you don't want to take away from the yellow team. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and get set for the next segment here, a part of the Gaming Weekly. A little bit more on Xbox Freak Peak's new well, perception. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here well, at Rocket League. And gentlemen, we're watching the physics-based game. Momentum shifts throughout this matchup. You can only imagine in their last run we saw the yellow team drastically lose to the red team. I mean, after that hellacious matchup in front of the red team, and there you see King Crafter, of course, dictating the pace of the ball here tonight in this matchup. There you see Crafter again crashing right into the ball, the ball up midair in this match. Well, moments ago, we talked to Xbox Freak Pete. Xbox telling us that he has a different perception. He doesn't like the Rebel Weekly, and apparently he doesn't really like the Gaming Weekly. Xbox, my question to you is this. What's next for you now? Now, uh... I don't think anybody likes me at this point in time. I mean, like, at the beginning, people loved me. I loved them back. But I, as I left, you know, people you just manager. didn't really care for you were me. A yeah. Yeah. I, no, no, I don't like me as manager. I mean, I didn't even really like myself as manager. But, like, every time that's people, nobody cares about me. So, here's what I'm going to do. Look, I don't, I don't like anybody, okay? I, I mean, if something changes, I might, but I'm just gonna stick to my stuff. You know, I just, I just don't want to be with anybody. Well, ladies and gentlemen, from one perception to the next, apparently there is someone here with a huge announcement. Welcome to the certain special guest. Hey, Adrian's voice. What's up, bro? I request some time from sports to talk in the party today. My name is Shelton, but I want everybody to call me Shelton the Pimp. You heard? Uh, Shelton the gay. Pimp? That's right, Shelton the Pimp. I'm the real pimp. I get all the ladies. I don't care about the other pimps. They're fake. They're all fake. They're losers. And there's no one to match me. So I'm going to be able to call out all the pimps out there. Come at me, bro. Peace. I'm out. Xbox, what the uh, hell is going on uh, around here? So many pits uh, coming up here, part teach you double No, no, no. You know, Jake has Jake. sounds like a wannabe gangster, okay? You mean Shelton? You mean Shelton, Shelton the Pimp? I don't care. I don't care what his, his name is. Shelton name the Pimp, is, not Jake. Okay? Has. Shelton the Pimp, not Jake. He's not no he's pimp. Not, Nobody the pimp room. I'm not even a pimp for crying out loud. Well, you will never be a pimp because oh, you can't well, be a lady. Nonetheless, though, ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and 32, 32 seconds and counting. Now, seconds. moments ago, though, Xbox, let me just ask you this, though. What is going on? We just heard from the pimp. Another pimp, apparently. Shelton the Pimp. Uh, 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 if you call if yourself you call a pimp. That doesn't mean you're a legit pimp, okay? So it's He's a fake a pimp. pimp. Well, anyhow, thanks well, for your anyhow, insight. Anyhow, listen, for your insight. Anyhow, this past week we got a chance to... Wait a minute, actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the, the replay right now. Ghost Fan, of course, scoring right then and there. And it seems that the yellow team, well, apparently they're dominating. But remember, it's a two-on-one situation, so it's no shock that the yellow team's winning as we speak. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned earlier this week, somebody is returning. Now, we saw Minigun Killer 10. He made his return this past week in the one-year anniversary. However, this week, somebody else is returning as Ghost Fan scores. Somebody else is returning, and apparently, they're not happy. After 
watching that commercial, ladies and gentlemen. I have no idea who is returning, but apparently this certain person is not happy, and we're going to find out tomorrow night, because tomorrow he will be here, this certain person. Again, I don't know who it is, but some rumors are circulating that he will be here tomorrow. Nonetheless, though, the matchup is underway. King Crafter is dictating the pace of this matchup for the yellow team. Again, this is a two-on-one situation. A lot is on the line here to this match. They're fighting for their, well, Rocket League careers here, because remember, in this matchup, it's a soccer-type game, uh, physics-based. You can only imagine the frustration for the yellow team considering, or I should say for the red team, considering that's a two-on-one situation as King Crafter continues to dominate as well as Rock Fancy Boy. Again, a two-on-one situation, but for the red team, it's a, well, two to four. Well, Xbox, let me ask you this, though. At this point in time, do you think the yellow team, they're going to win? I mean, speaking the fact that I can't even see what's going on. Uh, That's I why I asked you the question, because you can't see it. I was trying to catch you. Because you can't see it. I was trying to catch you. I did. I caught you. Nonetheless, though, match up. Nonetheless, continuing into this match. Xbox, I cannot wait because tomorrow night we're going to see who's going to be returning. And also on Sunday, we got a also huge on event on Minecraft. We're going to get set for that. Ghost fan, though, there's the replay. They look at Rock Fancy, though. He was almost trying to lure the ball under the other side, but it seems that the ball went right straight into the net after this hellacious matchup right now. There you see, though, these guys are relentless here tonight. These great players, all these great players tonight, they're delivering. And again, ladies and gentlemen, these players are performing in front of all of you, the great fans here, part of TGW. Look how Rock Fancy, though, he is scoring just left and right into this matchup, this Rocket League high-intense matchup, physics-based, momentum shifting throughout this matchup right now. Take a look at the replay. Feel it at home. Yet again, for the yellow team, it is a five-on-three situation in terms of points. However, in terms of the teams itself, it's a two-on-one situation. Two players for the yellow team, one player for the red team. You can only imagine for the red team, though, a lot is on the line here tonight. But look at the boost, though. A lot of boost can actually be used in this match to try to actually, well, pick up the momentum, to try to pick up the pace. 30 seconds remaining right now. Can somehow, someway, Rock Fancy Boy perhaps make this game into overtime? And he just did, perhaps. Well, he needs one more point in order for that to happen. But Rock Fancy Boy just scored. It's a four-on-five situation right now. Five points for the yellow team. Four points for the red team. Rock Fancy Boy, of course, scoring right there to there. And for Rock Fancy Boy, he needs to somehow, someway, lightly, quickly, needs to well, pick up that ball and score it right into the net against the yellow team. The yellow team, though. Wait a minute. Hold on for a quick second. Wait, a developing story. I believe now there are two players for... Right. There are two players for the red team now. I believe mid-game, there was a switch. Ghost fan, it was a two-on-one situation. But out of nowhere, the red team, one of the members would actually switch to the other po the opposing team. And now, it's a one-on-one situation. But apparently, the yellow team, though, defeated the red team here tonight. Well, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to all the players here tonight, a part of the TGW Rocket League Edition. And for Ghost Fan and Rock Fancy and King Crafter, congratulations to them. I mean, you do not want to take away from the red team. They did all they can to win in this matchup. However, Ghost Fan, after that great matchup, that hellacious match, Ghost Fan ended up picking up the victory here tonight on Rocket League. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as mentioned tomorrow night, we cannot wait. Somebody is returning. We don't know who that person is, but apparently he is not happy. And for Xbox Freak.